I'm a bit late on this video, but Spirit Day is a day to commemorate the LGBT youth who killed themselves because of how much they were being bullied. It is a statement against bullying. Something to think about. I know for myself and many other people who are subscribers to my channel, many of us had to get past a lot of the religious programming that we were brought up with. We had to get rid of a lot of the religious concepts. And some of the worst things have been when religious people bully the non-religious. We generally look at that as a bad thing. And yet, some of us on this platform seem to be shoving forth that, well, if someone killed themselves uh, because of things that were said to them, well, you know, they just have a thin skin. And that's a shame. You're basically saying it's the victim's fault. Well, if they kill themselves, they're, they're not a victim of anything. They, are, they did this to themselves. Do any of you know jack shit about depression? Do, do any of you know what it's like to come out of the closet in a part of the country that's kind of the Bible Belt? Is your answer, well, they should just stay in the closet? Or should we speak against the forces that make people be in the closet? Or are you going to go back to the uh, arguments that were said in the 80s? Well, you know, I'm okay if you're gay, you just, just don't uh, put it on display. And some of you will go, well, you know, I, I don't think anyone should put any of that on display. That should be in the bedroom. Okay, Mr. Prudy Pants. <laughs> okay. We should act like some, we should all be a bunch of old fuddy-duddies. Yeah, let's continue some of these patterns from religion. Because, hey, you know, uh, uh, some traditions are good. Yeah, so let's, you know, chastise anyone who, who, who doesn't do things the same way. Well, you know, outward sexuality, uh, 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 yeah, it's okay when someone like Trump does it. Well, you know, uh, uh, that's, that's different or, or uh, 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 sure. You know, people are pushing it forth as some horrible thing when some of these really extreme feminists and uh, those that are labeled SJWs will bully the white cisgender straight demographic. It's just some fucking horrible thing. But have no problem with people who dedicate their channels to bullying people those that are not the straight, white, cisgender demographic, or those who stand up for or defend them. You can make money doing that. But then something, someone who makes money critiquing video games is terrible, they're an awful person, they're, they're just fucking horrible, and let's, let's tell this person to kill themselves, let's try to get into their past, I mean, it's not, if someone was just making some, oh, go kill yourself, that's, that's different than someone trying to go into someone's past to try to find things that are as painful as possible to say to them, to try to hurt them. So, yeah, let, let's do all that, because someone critiques video games and uh, gets donations from people, then they speak about subjects that you don't think are valid. Oh, they're just a terrible person, scam artist. But it's okay to make money out of bullying people. Literally, that's, that's the whole premise. There is a YouTuber I'm not going to mention the name of who recently said, well, he, he doesn't care what the ramifications of his videos are. Doesn't care. Doesn't matter how big of a YouTuber you are. Doesn't matter how big of a celebrity someone is. It doesn't even matter if someone is supposed to be running for president, you know, uh, what you say shouldn't affect anyone, and they, they have no, uh, you know, they shouldn't have to take responsibility for anything they say or do. You know, because the way that people react to what you say, well, you have no control over that. Yeah, but you do have control over the things that you actually say. But, you know, you've made the declaration that you don't care what the outcome of what you say is. And you get to make money doing that. And that's cool somehow. But it's a scam if someone makes money critiquing video games using feminist theory to do it. You know, 
I may disagree with with using feminist theory to critique video games. I may think it's stupid, but if someone wants to do that and they want to get donations, and if they've you, they've not done everything with the donations that they planned out to be, if they they haven't made enough content to legitimize those donations, well, that should be up to the people who made those donations to be upset. Unless virtue signaling is just a really big thing for you, you think virtue signaling is awesome. I'm awesome because I speak against someone critiquing video games based on feminism. I digress a bit. But those who fit the straight, white, cisgender male demographic can bully all the other demographics and it's supposed to be cool. Especially if you make money doing it. Then it's even cooler then it's somehow even more valid because look at all the subscribers. Because, you know, if you have more subscribers, it must make you more valid, right? So, you know, everyone should get a thicker skin except straight white cisgender males. And they should be allowed to have a really thin skin while criticizing everyone else for supposedly having a thin skin. You know, because LGBT people who commit suicide over things that are said to them are just weak and pathetic and we need to we live in some culture where we're you know let's let's get on the viking ship and uh you know go at war but you know it, in the safety of our own homes because you know you need to be a real man you need to be this warrior you're a sioux an s-i-w you're a social injustice warrior because, you know, injustice is life. So let's just put it up on a pedestal. White cisgender straight males are awesome. White cisgender straight males are awesome. White cisgender straight males are awesome. Always. Except when they shoot up schools. And then they're just bad. But not as bad as when a Muslim shoots up a school and then it's just the worst tragedy possible and now let's uh, deport all Muslims, right? Because cabbage, the bad thing about any group is when it decides it's going to bully others. That's when any group or demographic becomes shit. That's when it occurs. Christians are just fine unless they start bullying. Muslims are just fine unless they start bullying. Atheists are just fine unless they start bullying. And some of you have this viewpoint, well, if you're an atheist and you're saying things that are true, then and it's, that's not bullying. It's only if you say things that aren't true that it's bullying. So let's tell someone who has stated that they're so depressed that they're thinking about suicide, let's just talk to them about how insignificant their life is. Because, you know, truth. When you see someone crying, because their father just died of cancer. Um, let's just go, oh, boo-hoo, suck it up and, and pick up yourself by your bootstraps and, and move on. It's an area that I really, really can't stand Kevin Logan because of, of how he treated Thunderfoot about his, you know, Thunderfoot's father dying of cancer. That was just uncalled for. And I never saw an apology for it. And if he did apologize for it, you know, I, you know, I, I could probably accept that. But that was just fucking rotten. How about all the SJWs on Twitter and Tumblr who were bullying this girl because she wanted to make drawings of people, you know, fan art for, I think it was uh, Steven Universe. And she drew characters that were wearing, you know, the wrong kind of outfits because that's supposed to be for, for this demographic. And you can't mix and match demographics and cultures. That's, that's uh, glorifying cultural appropriation. This girl almost committed suicide and these SJWs were egging on her suicide. So this meanness comes from any side. Bullying is the problem. It is the problem. It's what makes feminists shit. It's what makes MRAs shit. It's what makes Black Lives Matter movement shit. 
It's what makes Christianity shit. It's what makes atheism shit. It is the bullying. It is that bullying mindset. It is this mindset of tribalism where it's, it's let's prop up our demographic by degrading all the other demographics. And it's shit. It's utter shit. And to me, we should be speaking against it. But some of you think it's okay. And some of you even think it's okay to make money doing it too. I'm going to be t totally honest. I don't think people should be able to make money off of doing that kind of thing at all. I hope Google takes away monetization from all of the channels that, that do this regularly. Because you can guarantee that there aren't going to be any big channels that do this without making money. Just not going to happen. And I'm seeing hints at some of the changes in that. And some of you are going, well, you know, this is, this is, this is a going against free speech. Well, if you wouldn't have abused your goddamn free speech, this wouldn't be necessary. And this sort of thing, you know, any sort of the bullying needs to stop. Let me ask something here, okay? As much as I can't stand the uh, Mr. Black Hitler guy, the uh, uh, Koz Kazi Kod Kodzu, all right. Hope I have his name right. And uh, what's her name? Uh, Sensei Ashimatayu, Ashimatazu, or something like that, right? Do they go after people, individual people? Or are they just going and making generalized statements about demographics? But, but they're saying things we, we can't stand and it's offensive. Okay, fine. They've said offensive things. So. Is that the same thing as bullying individuals? If you can, you can pretty much guarantee if those channels that that were that are that are saying negative things about all white people, putting all, all white people as basically the devil. They don't word it that way, but that's a, just an easy way to paraphrase what they're saying. If they were to start to go after individuals and started calling them uh, racist, people who are really trying to do good things, yeah, their channels would be taken down. They would, they'd be done. They'd certainly not be able to monetize. When entertainment is the purpose because you want to make money, you know, entertainment for money, you're generally, generally not going to discuss anything in a way that is actually going to bring forth a decent conversation because that's not what sells. That's not what gets you subscribers. That's not what gets enough people watching to where they get a lot of ad views. It is one of the biggest things that discourages reasonable conversation. And yet we should just put this stuff up on a pedestal? Bullying all the way around sucks, no matter what demographic is doing it. If we're not willing to speak up against the actual problem, then we're contributing to the problem. 